Okay, so I just want to point out a few things, um, some pitfalls to avoid and some things to notice as you're reading these examples of um, previous eloquent letters that students have written for this class. Um, letters are very different in some ways than the essays that you're used to writing for college, and so you want to make sure that you don't um, fall into the rut of some of the conventions of essays. Um, you want to you want to focus on this as a letter. So a letter is a personal communication between one person and another person. Um, so here are some things that I want to point out to you. So first of all, you notice that this writer started with the date that she sent the letter at the top, flush with the left margin. Um, that's the first thing you should put on your letter. Then she skipped a couple spaces, and then she wrote the name and address of the recipient for this letter. That is a convention of formal business letters. Then she went down three more spaces and she begins her letter. And she begins her letter with a salutation to the person she's writing to. So, Dear Senator Gelser. You can start with Dear so-and-so, comma, or if that feels a little too um, informal to you, you could write to so-and-so, colon, um, it's up to you, but make sure you include the salutation. That will tell us that this is a letter and you are writing to an actual person. Then you see she starts with, My name is X. I'm a 35-year-old wife and mother and a full-time college student. Though I do not live in your district, I chose to express my concerns to you because you seem to legitimately care. So you see, rather than saying, Since the beginning of time... Sexual harassment has been a problem. You know, the way that we start um, essays, where we sometimes start with a generalization or a statistic, she's starting by saying, hi, I'm so-and-so, and I'm writing to you because you are so-and-so, and we both care about this subject because, and then she goes on to say why I think you care about this, because she knows that she spent time in the Corral School Board, and she's her current role in the Senate Committee on Education. So it shows that, A, we have a relationship with each other, we have common ground on this issue, and I know you care about this, and that shows that I have done my homework, and I know what I'm talking about. I know who you are, I know what our relationship is, and I know why you care about this issue. So that's the way to start your letter. Um, then I also want to point out that it's very important that you tell soon in your letter what is the problem that you are asking to be addressed. So here she gets to that right in the second paragraph. Unfortunately, even with the integration of the Healthy Teen Relationships Act and Sex Abuse Prevention instruction, instruction the current curriculum is too infrequent. So she's naming the problem that she wants to talk about in this letter. You also want to notice that this letter is single-spaced. There's a space between paragraphs. Um, a, a mistake I see students making is that they double-space the letter um, or they um, don't use any paragraphs and, and it's, it's um, unreadable because it's just this huge block of text. Um, so make sure you do that. Another thing I want to point out is that she is using footnotes to cite her sources. So whenever you refer to a, um, a piece of evidence that you've sourced from another source, use a footnote um, so that the reader can find it later. Um, and don't clutter your letter up with lots of sources and with parentheticals like you would in an essay. Um, and then finally, make sure that you make it clear what it is you are asking your recipient to do. So you're not just writing this to educate them or to complain um, or to make a general suggestion. You want to ask them, based on who they are, to do something that they would be able to do. So here she says, I implore you to sponsor a bill. That is an appropriate thing to ask a state senator to do. That's something that they can do about problems. Um, and then you see that she ends with uh, a closing, respectfully, comma, and then you want to sign it. Um, letters are always, always feature a closing and a signature. And then you see she attached her works cited page where she um, gives the, the citations, the, the bibliographic information about where she got that, the evidence that she's using in her letter.